Okay, we're now going to uh, discuss all the tools which you'll use when you're on your bricklaying course. The most important ones is uh, uh, the laying trowel. Uh, they do come in different sizes and uh, it's really down to you when you come on the course you'll have a go at different types or use different types of trowels and then it's down to your personal preference. We've also got a smaller trowel, pointing trowel, exactly the same as laying trowel, just 150mm in, in length and this is really designed when we're um, jointing up uh, block work and, and point, pointing the cross joints and the, the bed joints. The alternative is to use a, a jointer such as this We've got 12.5mm uh, at one side and 18 at, at the other and uh, again we use this for bed joints and cross joints and this is an important tool which you'll use on a regular basis and um, again you'll be taught this when, you're, when you come on the course. Alternative to a, to a jointer you can use something called a chariot and uh, a chariot is actually used for raking out the joints. So if you're doing some, some complex work and you, you want to see the feature of the brick, then we can use a, a chariot. When it comes to actually uh, cutting bricks and blocks, then we can use a two pound uh, lump hammer and a 100 millimeter bolster. Uh, when you use these, you've got to wear the correct PPE and we'll be covering that in another video shortly. Alternatively to using a, a lump hammer and a bolster, if you wanted to cut a brick a little bit quicker, then we can use a, a brick hammer. And alternative to a, a brick hammer, we've also got a scutch. And uh, a scutch has got teeth at one end, and then this uh, enables you to actually trim a, a brick. So a scutch is designed for trimming a brick, where the brick hammer will actually cut it. One of the most important things is, as well as a, a laying trowel, is the actual spirit level. Without one of these, we can't keep our walls plumb and level and to range. And this, again, will be all be covered when you actually come on the, on the course. When we're um, setting out, what we will use is, is a tape measure. So you'll use this for setting out all the lengths, all the dimensions, for setting out buildings, for setting out walls, and you also use it for heights as well. But alternative to a tape, then you would use this gauge lat. And you can maybe see that there's cut marks every 75 millimeters in the gauge lat. And this is exactly the same height as the brickwork. So when we show you a little demonstration of building a wall later on, you'll, you'll see this uh, in action. And next one is um, we've got corner, corner blocks and string lines. So once we've built our corners up, then we've got to keep the wall straight. And we don't use a spirit level when it's a long wall, we use the, the pins and the corner blocks. So again, you'll see these um, being used later on in one of the videos. It's always quite handy to have a, a pencil in your, your toolbox as well. This is great for setting out when you're at the foundation level. And um, when we are setting out, we do need one of these squares. So this is a 90 degree square. So when we're building maybe a, a pillar or a 90 degree corner, then again, we use one of these. When you come on the course, you'll also be shown how to use a tape measure to set out 90 degree corners and how to make sure a building is square. And, uh, lastly, we've got the, the brush. So once we've built our wall, quite often we'll give a, a little brush, just gets any little uh, rags, any edges, um, just makes everything a, a look, look a lot more smoother. And also, we'll also need a, another brush when we clean our tools. It's important, we've got a lot of expensive equipment here, so it is important that we keep it clean. If we do, all these will last you many years. Uh, there are, so like I said, there's lots of other tools we can use, but the tools I've shown you here, these are the, the main ones. And um, all these 
are available for you to use at the college. If you decide when you come on the course you want to uh, purchase your own, that's fine. But so alternatively, then you use all ours. Okay, so up till now, what we've done with uh, the Adult Runner Workshop, you've uh, been outside, you've had a look at how, uh, where the mortar's mixed, we've covered tools and we've covered protective equipment. Now I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how to build a small pyramid. And if you come to the college, uh, this is uh, probably the first things you'll, you'll really cover. And what we've got then is our, our laying trowel and uh, first thing we'll show you is how to pick the mortar up and then put it on the actual trowel. And first you've got to do is create a cylinder shape. So what we do is we create a cylinder shape on the board and then we then pick that up. Once we've mastered that and we've got on the trowel, then we've got to try and then lay it into a line. So once we've got the idea and we can lay the mortar out in a line, then from there, then we've got to spread it out. So from there, we spread that out and then it's ready then to place a brick on. So when you're on your course, you will have um, very uh, different types of bricks we, you'll be using. Uh, these have got a, a frog in and it's important when you build a wall with these that the frog goes towards the top. So from there, we'll then position that, hopefully so it's ready to be level. And we talked about a gauge lat earlier. So this is the gauge lat. We've got to make sure the top of the brick goes to the, the top, top line. So from there, that goes to the top there. And then from there, then we've got to then use a spirit level and make sure it's level along the top. So I've just got to adjust that to ensure that it's level. Once we've done that, then it's time for the next brick. And then what we've got to do is now we've got to put a cross joint on the brick here. So again, you'll be shown how to put cross joints on, different methods, different ways, and then that will be then placed next to the brick you've just laid. And then there's a spirit level then, to make sure it's level. Give it a tap to make sure that's level. And then we'll also make sure it's straight. Then we remove any surplus mortar around the bricks just to keep it clean. And then the next one, yeah, we're going to put that on, on top. And it's important that we keep it um, in the in the centre. We don't want it either one side or the other. This is called stretcher bond, and we've got to make sure it maintains the correct bond for, for strength. What we're going to do is just place a dry brick on there, and then back to the board. Again, we're going to create a, a cylinder shape, pick it up on the trowel again, which will be shown on the course. Spread that down and then our next brick. We just keep a 10mm gap in between the brick you've laid and then the dry brick. And that maintains that the brick on top is directly half over the one below. So then we can remove that. And then use a gauge again. This time we're going to the top of the, the second line, which that's okay on there. And then we're going to check for level. And then one of the most important parts now is making sure the wall is plumb. So from there, we're going to look through the top bubble and then adjust the brick to ensure it's plumb. And then that pretty much would be the, the basics of what you would do to start with on your course. 
and then from there you would then progress on to more complex work. We talked about jointers um, earlier and again we would use one of these to point up or joint up the cross joints and the bed joints. So from there we do, do the cross joints first and then we do the bed joints. And that pretty much would be it if you came on a, on a taster day or if you came um, on, a, on a diploma course or an apprenticeship. This is the very first part what you would start with. As you can see, I've got my high vis on, got my boots, my gloves and my, my hard hat. So like we said before, when you come in a workshop, you've got to wear the correct protection. <laughs>